Four, three, two, one. Actually, Chloe, I've never been a real huge Chris Brown fan, man. How? I've clicked, I've clicked on so many songs. Trash, I trash. I know he can dance. I know he's talented. I love the um, um, what's that Aaliyah record? I think they know. Yeah. You know, I love, I love Fine China. Those my favorite Breezy records. But a lot of times, when I just see Breezy, I was like, okay. Yeah. That's <laughs> cold. What's, what's your take on that? I mean, are you guys Breezy fans? I'm def- I would say I'm definitely a Breezy fan for sure. Definitely. Even if I was, even if I wasn't like zoned in, I was still subconsciously a fan. Even when I'm listening to him featuring Lil Wayne, I'm rapping Lil Wayne slide over here, talk to the just saying like I'm still still I'm still bumping the whole song. I'm not skipping to Weezy's verse. Just yeah. trying to say, and I, and I feel like because of that, that will still make me like a fan. Just, it's just crazy. I think he's definitely like. Even songs like Fine China, you gotta no. give it to him. Like, I feel most I feel like is a crazy song. I feel like because of what happened, I know like everyone still brings it up, not not brings it up, but that whole Rihanna situation that really like curtailed his whole P guy. No, nah, not for not for me personally. Like prior to that, when he was young and 16, and God, they tried to guy well, before cancel culture, they tried to cancel Chris Brown. <laughs> we're trying to say Chris Brown is out of here. For him to still be in game now, dancing, it's he almost tried, a miracle. He tried, he had to, they had to cry on stage, he had to dance on stage, he had to do a lot to, to win us back. But uh, I remember when he was crying. <laughs> he was, uh, I feel like the like reason, like reason why guys like three are not really Chris Brown fans like that now is because of that Rihanna thing. No! Psychological, shall I tell you why? Because that was the first time we saw someone who was literally about to be the next big thing in the whole world become so regular and normal. There's a point yeah. you know, there was a black guy from Virginia. This guy was on some top shit being compared to Michael Jackson after only two albums. Albums, guy. Chris so Brown was in. He was getting in trouble, going in and out of but jail. Isn't that what they said about Usher? No, nah, but there's, Chris Brown. Brown. there's always a new guy. Brown. They say, "Oh, no, but the way they guy. compare Chris to the next Michael Package was a different level. Now it was different because Chris Brown was like a prodigy, like he was yeah, the exactly. prodigy. Like, Do you know what I mean? I said, already was crazy. Was he was a kid in the in the nineties and all that shit." Now, but just to clarify, like I said, that whole Rihanna thing didn't affect me because even when he came when he came out with "Run It," I didn't like it. Fair like, enough. I just I just didn't like it. like I was never. I was really got tats later on. I was like, okay, cool. It's now fresh now. But when it was it's running the one with, it's running with the one with Joel Santana. Yeah, like I wasn't like I wasn't there looking at this guy thinking like man, this guy is fresh, man. I wasn't like man, nah, but you just respected like the like you are you are still in sort of like all of like this guy is singing. I, I, was, I wasn't in awe. Fair, fair. I, I just like, like, was, this guy was doing some crazy stuff. Oh. No, I'm not saying, like I said, I'm not taking away from his talent. Um, I'm just saying that he was just, you know, everybody just has someone that they they, they gravitate to. Mm. And yeah, he, for sure. He just wasn't one of the people that I ever gravitated to. Zero so, so was probably like in a different space, yeah. I know he's yeah. mad talented, but yeah, maybe exactly. Maybe I was just in a different space. I just never gravitated. I think somebody put something online the other day about uh, he sounds yeah. every song. That was yeah. funny. That's when I think Breezy put up a post. Like, oh, y'all niggas need to stop effing me, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that to the side. But the thing is, like, Chris Brown, because you know, funny thing, like, Chris Brown is actually so good because there was a point when he started becoming stale, then he drops fan of a fan with Tiger. Yeah. I was a fan of that. Exactly. You had to be a fan because it was mad. I love that project, but like I said, like, post that, like, Maybe I'll go into him then a bit more. It's like, but yeah, but I just yeah. I but, just, then, but then now look, look, look out how he's actually now involved to like being able to do a joint project with a guy like Young Thug. I'm he's the, he's I, literally like he's kept on moving. Do you know what I'm saying? I I feel like that's what the best do. Like 
they never stop moving. Yeah. yeah. And even if he's done, even if he's not done it in a way like, like a, I don't know, like a Kanye or a Jay Z or like anyone else that has done it from a lot for a long period of time. This guy has done it since he was. He's not sixteen or eighteen. What? Probably sixteen, maybe even fourteen, fifteen. Yeah. It's too, and he's still dropping. Have you heard the the album with Young Felt um three? I heard it now. I'm very good. It's it's you need, think, It's the same way. It's weird how like I never like obviously when we were young, just the people was mm-hmm. like a little baby boy. Was only like two three years younger than us, so I never yeah. really. Knew people. But then when I listened to his album Purpose a couple years back, oh my god, I became <laughs> I became a believer. You're be- yeah, you're a believer. <laughs> I was like that Purpose album was bro, bro, bro. It was. Nah, and yeah, it's probably the one. It's probably, probably the one where Craig David wrote one of the songs. I think that's the one with him, you know, on the cover like this, and it's black and white. Nah, nah, my Chris, my my say my Chris, my Justin Bieber era was when he had like dreads. He had like the swoop, like the bleach blonde. Where he was, he was transitioning to a super swagged out dude that had tied up swag to match. Yeah. But then he cut it all off and stuff. But when he was in that bag, like, bro, that was the down Bieber for sure. Bieber Belly. Purpose is the one that has um, Sorry, um, Love Yourself, them type of records. Yeah. And yeah, the point I'm trying to make is that I actually am more of a Bieber fan than Chris Brown. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Purpose is the project. Purpose as a project, it won me over. I was like, damn, like, and then I started looking into his life, and obviously he's Christian, blah, blah, blah. But going to that Purpose album, I'm telling you. Nah, I was a big Bieber fan as well, so I know what you mean, man. Yeah. Um, oh, so what, did you bump it? Of course. What's yeah, your take on that project? Album. Huh? What's your take on that project? I really liked it, man. I, I listened to it. I'm, about... I'm pretty sure Ed Sheeran wrote most of it as well, though. Yep. Yeah, definitely now. Yeah. Yeah, but no, at that time, like, I'm so mad to say that bag, dude. Like, that just got bag at that point. Yeah. I remember I was like, in like, when I was a uni, bro. I was like, I kept on saying, like, dude, this is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, the alternative network.